this week we're going to Brooklyn. Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Hmm. No, not that Brooklyn. I know it was a little intentionally misleading, but this Brooklyn's in D.C. The history of the Brooklyn neighborhood actually starts with the founding of the state of Maryland. The story goes something like this. The English, under the rule of King James I, took by force the homelands of the Powhatan tribe in the 1600s. These lands spanned the space between Massachusetts and Virginia. George Calvert, a.k.a. Lord Baltimore I, asked the king for permission to use these lands as a refuge for Roman Catholics. A few months after making that request, however, he died. The king granted Calvert's request anyway. George Calvert's son Cecil, the new Lord Baltimore, took over the tract of land which was now called Maryland after the king's wife. Cecil Calvert subsequently gave a tract of land to Ninian Beale. Now remember this man because you'll definitely be seeing him again in a future video. When Nicholas Queen married Ninian Beale's daughter, he gained some of the Beale's land from the deal. Fun fact, the Queens built a Catholic church on that land and named it St. Mary's Chapel. The locals, however, called it Queen's Chapel, and the road leading to it was Queen's Chapel's Road. Message! The Queens also had a daughter, and her name was Anne. She married Jehiel Brooks, who was also given a tract of land after the marriage. In 1840, Brooks set about building a small mansion that he named Bel Air. It is actually still standing in the same spot, even though some additions to the buildings have been made over the years. Brooks and his fellow farmers used enslaved people as laborers on their plantations. After the Civil War, the enslaved people were freed and the plantation owners began selling their land. This included Brooks, who sold his land to the city to become the first section in the neighborhood of Brooklyn. Through the years, the neighborhood was definitely living up to its intended purpose as a Catholic community. Many Catholic institutions were founded, including St. Anthony's and the Franciscan Monastery. Unfortunately, the history of racial subjugation was still prevalent in the neighborhood. By the 1920s, housing covenants forbidding sale of land to black people were common, and schools, churches, and public spaces were still segregated. Court cases were brought against racially restrictive housing covenants as early as 1926, but were struck down in the courts. Finally, in 1948, the Supreme Court heard two cases against restrictive covenants, with Charles Houston arguing the case. The courts ruled that the covenants could not be enforced legally. Black residents began moving into previously restricted spaces in Brooklyn. Many residents were professors at Howard University and prominent members of society.